Here we have Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, and we had yet to really make a close-up picture of her. Aeronautics and space report. We know very little about Venus because we cannot see through its thick clouds. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Venus kind of looks a whole lot like Earth. This is Venus here. This is Venus here. You know, come to think of it, we don't really talk about Venus much. The Venus is a very active, dynamic planet. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Okay, honestly, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh-oh, they're coming to get me. Stop that man from talking about Venus. I ain't crazy. I'm sciencing for sure. Venus makes me want to party. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Button, baby. Party dance time. First spaceship on Venus. You are there. Ladies and gentlemen, this video hasn't even started, and we already have big problems. That's right, I'm over at Time magazine or i guess i should call them time website i'm over at time website talking about science and space and it's a saucy saturday venus may once have been a garden planet uh the article hasn't even begun it sounds like they're trying to sell me stuff like miracle grow and pots for my plants definitely not pot for my mind a new model suggests a world very different from the one we know today first of all i'm already pissed off because it's suggesting we know Venus. You understand me? And we don't. You got 65 rovers, spider drones, landers, flybyers, dirt sniffers, all types of robots on Mars. We ain't got anything around Venus. Not even a single CubeSat. Which is weird because she's like Earth's twin. And so time is trying to tell me that we already know Venus. And we don't. We don't know jack and shit about Venus. You'd be like, well, Bill Nye knows. And so if Bill Nye knows, I know. And that's not how it goes, people. The 2001 through 2016 shit is almost over. Thank goodness. So I would like rock and roll to return. New environmental models suggest that Venus could have been a hospital planet for up to 2 billion years. They're so good with time. <sighs> Except when it comes to building the Hubble's replacement. One of the hard facts of our solar system. Wait, stop right there. You tell me. What, what is one of the hard facts of our solar system? We're talking about hard facts. Um, I'm going to go with change is constant. Change is constant in our solar system, okay? Or that water's wet or boobies are magic. Those are all hard facts. Let's see what their hard fact is. That even with eight perfectly nice planets, Earth remains the only house on the block with its lights on. I don't even... What? What the hell? Who's writing this? Did you have like Skynet try and write articles? Is this an app that just strung words together? I don't think it's a hard fact that Earth is the only house on the block with its lights on. Like, you can't say this is a hard fact and then use a bunch of metaphors. What are you people doing? Oh, we're talking about Mars, so they're trying to stick their non-journalism dick in your brain. Oh, why? Okay, so they're saying one hard fact that we know for first sure is that Earth is the only planet with life. Any type of life. Microbial, reptilian, bugtillion, tortoise-tillion, giraffe. Tillion. Mars, it's increasingly clear, was once a warm, watery planet and had a shot at cooking up biology, but only until numerous environmental cataclysms turned it dry and cold. Like, which theory are you guys going by? Didn't you guys hear the theory that there was a nuclear war on Mars and it ripped off the atmosphere and then everything died? And of course, some spider bug people live under the planet, in theory? Okay, so I guess the whole article saying, Venus used to be habitable, but then what happened? And then human caused climate change totally screwed it up. For starters, its greater proximity to the sun means it receives 40% more heat and light than Earth does. At first, this wasn't a problem since the sun means it was 30 percent dimmer in the early days of the solar system how do you know that you don't know oh i'm gonna get mad so the sun gets brighter as it runs out of fuel that makes a lot of sense the sun is getting brighter but there's life there now that's right even if it's extremophile there's some type of life there probably some type of life on every planet right that's my new thing or maybe the sun is pulling in each planet and so we're pushing out each and then we'll be the next mars and venus will be the next earth hey worse 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 yet, Venus's rotation is exceedingly slow. A single Venusian day takes about 117 Earth days. Okay, so they're saying it had life for like 2 billion years, and then, and then there was the Venusian apocalypse. Still, for lonely Earthlings longing for cosmic company, even a little bit of nearby biology is a promising start. This article's junk. 
kind of like what's in your trunk. In the GIS model simulation, Venus's slow spin exposes its day side to the sun for almost two months at a time, said Anthony Del Genio, a co-author of the paper, in a statement that accompanied its release. This warms the surface and produces rain that creates a thick layer of clouds, which acts like an umbrella to shield the surface from much of the solar heating. Using computer simulations similar to the ones environmental scientists used to study global warming on Earth, the Goddard researchers fed in alternative models of an early Venus with a thinner Earth-like atmosphere and a slow rotation caused by other factors, including solar gravity lacking on the planet's landmass, not its atmosphere. That would have meant a cooler Venus, at least at first. I'm guessing either A, there's already life on Venus now, or B, it's the opposite, and Venus is like Mercury, and the sun is actually pushing planets out, so we'll be the next Mars. Unless we figure out something to where we can coexist with Venus. I don't mind making any sense. It's Saturday. Did I, did I mention that already? I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video. Oh, well. But we're talking about Venus, so it's partial fantasy land. I mean, like I said, why do we have 50 robots on Mars and zero on Venus? It don't make no damn sense. Unless it does, that means something is foobar. All right, peace out. God bless everyone. At the dawn of the space age, Venus was a very popular destination. Venus is really staying in the shadow right now. We have learned much, but we have sacrificed a lot. Too much. Please don't take my blue Venus away.